I know what you're thinking. Kevin, Princess has won everything. Are you gonna say anything good about MSC? Well, this is where MSC shines. Good morning, YouTube. Greetings from Royal Caribbean's Enchantment of the Sea. This is neutral ground for today's comparison. I'm comparing MSC Meravilia's inside cabin to Princess Cruises Sky Princess's inside cabin. Why am I not comparing Enchantment of the Sea's inside cabin? Well, it would be a little unfair. This ship was built in 1997, so it's closing in on being 30 years old, and MSC Meravilla was launched in 2016, late 2000. 2016 and Sky Princess was launched in early 2019 so they're only about two and a half years difference they both look very new throughout the ship there's no sign of wear and tear you feel like you're on a brand new ship even though they're a couple years old okay so before we compare each individual section of each inside cabin I want to give you a full tour of each inside cabin so let's jump to that okay let's check out my inside cabin on msc so i love the decor in here it's very vegas-esque it reminds me of like caesar's palace or mgm grand kind of very european very pleasant the bed here it was okay they put two beds together mattress topper wasn't that great i was sliding in between the beds but you know i made do over here, we have this control switch where you can control all the lights in the room. You have this cool little reading lamp up here, but no USB ports by the bed. Ah, cruise ships, you got to put USB ports by all the beds in the modern cruise world, I think. Had a little desk over here. Not too comfortable. I'm sure you can see this chair. It's not a very comfortable chair. You wouldn't want to work here all day. You'd have to go somewhere else, but it is what it is. All right, let's check out the refrigerator. Just a typical hotel refrigerator, but they do have this bottle opener in here, which was pretty cool. I haven't seen that on other cruise lines. I like it. One USB port in the whole cabin. You gotta put more USB ports in here. All right, over here, the TV wasn't a smart TV. You couldn't do much with it, but you could watch TV, which was kind of cool. Uh, had typical cable channels like Discovery Channel, ESPN, all that kind of stuff. All right, so the closet, not very big. I travel pretty minimalist, and for me, this was a pretty small closet. There's only two drawers in this thing. You do have the safe to lock your stuff up, but pretty small. I can't imagine two people fitting all their stuff in here. I mean, it barely worked for me, and like I said, I'm pretty much a minimalist. Again, only two drawers down here. Gotta have more drawers than that, in my opinion. Okay, let's go check out the star of the show, which is the bathroom. This MSC bathroom just feels bigger than other cruise ship bathrooms I've been in. It's super bright and just feels very fresh. I don't know why they don't incorporate this into the rest of the cabin. I really love the feel of the bathroom. You've got a shower door instead of a curtain, which is great. You have the MSC branded body wash and shampoo. And the shower is just big. You can just move around in it. It's great. You've got the towels here. You've got, you know, typical bathroom stuff. You've got counters with, you know, a medicine cabinet type of thing. And down here you have the toilet paper. I heard on message boards that they weren't including tissue. It's just hidden away. It's not in that other tissue spot. It's hidden away under here, so they do have it. Let's go check out my princess cabin, and then we'll talk more about it. So I really like Princess Cruises inside cabins. They're always really, really bright. They have these huge mirrors. It just makes it feel bigger and I don't feel claustrophobic in them. On the new ships, they have these USB ports uh, on the lamps, which is great. The beds, Princess is famous for its super comfy beds. I don't know how they do it, but this one uh, fit the bill and it was completely comfortable. I loved it. Got the TV over here. They don't have Friends or Seinfeld, but they do have Modern Family and Everybody Loves Raymond. So. I was happy. Got a little refrigerator down here. You can put waters, Cokes, whatever you want to put in there. Over here, you have a hair dryer. Obviously, I don't need that, but maybe you would need it. Again, got the TV here. The TV does a lot of different things too. It's a smart TV. You can even gamble on that thing. All right, back here, Princess also does storage, right? Got these big closets. You can actually add a lower bar to it if you want. I did that. And over here, again, a lot of storage and I'm about to open this door and show you even more storage. There's also a safe in here. That's where I keep my passport and any money I have. And I've never had an issue with that. And let's go check out the bathroom. 
All right, so your standard princess bathroom. I know everyone hates the shower curtain. Doesn't bother me. You'll see that in a minute. You've got, you know, a huge sink over here. You know, it's enough space, especially for one person. It's plenty of space. I think it would be plenty for two people as well. The only complaint I have in the bathroom is the weird spot they put the toilet paper. It's kind of hard to get to. <laughs> I think they could have found a better spot uh, to put that, but you know, whatever. And here's the shower, shower's great. The water gets super, super hot and it lasts forever. You could take a hot shower for five hours and it'd still be scalding hot, which is the kind of showers I like. You always get shampoo and body wash and then hand wash and lotion. Okay, as you can see, those are both beautiful inside cabins. I loved each one of them for different reasons, but this is a comparison video. So let's jump into comparing the different parts of the inside cabin. And then at the end, I'll tell you which one I liked the best, although it's kind of a mixed answer for that. Okay, so first let's talk about the decor. Like I mentioned earlier, the MSC ship is very European feeling, feels like uh, MGM Casino, something like that. And the Princess Cabin has a much brighter, lighter, classic cruise look. It makes the cabin feel bigger, even though I think the MSC Cabin was actually bigger, the Princess Cabin felt bigger. I personally prefer the lighter decor of the Princess Cabin over the MSC Cabin. Okay, so the next category is the most important to me. It is the bed. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I book mostly inside cabins, primarily because I don't spend a lot of time in the cabin, so I don't need a view. For all cabins on cruise ships, anytime you get a queen size bed, it is two individual single beds that they put together to form a queen bed, and then they'll put a mattress topper on board. Okay, let's start with MSC's bed. So it was fine, but the mattress topper wasn't thick enough, and you could feel where the connection of the two single beds were, and that kind of annoyed me. I would, at night, I would like fall in between that little area. I heard that I could have requested another mattress topper. I didn't do that. Maybe that would have made it better. Maybe mine was old or something, but the bed wasn't super comfy. It was okay, but not super comfy. If I hadn't been on Princess, I probably would have just said, hey, the MSC bed was pretty good, but I have been on Princess. They do the same thing. They take the two uh, single beds, they put them together, they put a mattress topper on, and it was just a super comfy bed. I don't know where Princess buys their mattresses, but every cruise line should shop where they buy theirs. I'm on row, like I mentioned earlier, and it's the same thing. I can feel the connection between the two beds. The mattress topper isn't that great. Okay, so the next category we're gonna talk about is the desk. If you don't know, I'm a YouTuber. I do a lot of video editing. I usually try to do it out of the room, but sometimes I'll just go back to the room, edit videos, and so the desk is pretty important to me. Some people, it's not gonna be important at all, but to me, it means something, so that's why I'm talking about it in this video. So the desk on the Princess Cruise, it had a comfy chair, like a normal desk chair. It was pretty big, had a couple USB ports, plenty of plugins, and it was a comfortable desk to work at. I could also see the TV from the desk, which was kind of cool and it was a comfy desk. MSC, obviously I showed you the chair, I mentioned it in there. It's not very comfy, it doesn't have a back to it. It's just hard plastic. There is one USB port and there was plenty of plug-ins, so that wasn't an issue, but it wasn't a desk I could sit at all day. Uh, definitely not. So I would say Princess wins the desk wars, if that's important to you. They both had refrigerators, you know, their hotel refrigerators. I did like that MSC had the bottle opener, which I think is great, and I wish all Cruise ships had bottle opener and probably a wine corkscrew. Yeah, so the refrigerators were pretty much a push. I consider those part of the desk because the refrigerators are usually underneath the desk. And I will say, I'm on this Enchantment of the Seas right now, and they don't have any refrigerator in the cabin. So now I appreciate cabins that have refrigerators in because you can throw you know, water in there to cool it down, things like that. Okay, next up is closets. So closets is probably ranked number two, maybe tied for number two with bathrooms, which will be next. The closets on Princess are phenomenal. You saw in the room tours how great the closet is on Princess. It's huge. It would work for two people. It definitely worked for one person. Closet on MSC was pretty tight, was pretty small, wasn't super functional in the way it was laid out. I think it'd be really hard for two people sharing it. I really didn't like it as one person, so. I'd imagine two people sharing it, it might be a little bit difficult. So every cruise line should do what Princess does with their closet space, it's phenomenal. Okay, so the next category probably should be ranked number one and two with the bed and the closet. It is the bathroom. I know what you're thinking, Kevin, Princess has won everything. Are you gonna say anything good about MSC? Well, this is where MSC shines. 
the bathroom. But let's start with Princess's bathroom. So Princess Ship's bathrooms remind me a lot of van life and even Navy life. And that's not necessarily a good thing. It's okay. And had I not been on MSC Cruises, I wouldn't even think much of it. But Princess does have the dreaded shower curtain. Doesn't bother me too much, but I understand why it bothers people. And then the, the placement of the toilet paper on Sky Princess was really weird. It was really hard to get to, really hard to use. And the bathroom was just average. It was clean. But once I went on an MSC ship and saw their bathrooms, I'm like, this is how a cruise ship bathroom should be done. They're really bright, very airy. They feel bigger than they are. I don't think they're any bigger than any other cruise ship, but they just feel bigger because of the way the mirrors are placed and how many lights are going on in there. It just feels really open and airy in their bathroom. The shower, it feels huge when you're inside of it. It has the glass shower door. Every cruise ship should be taking notes from MSC on how to do a bathroom. If I could combine Princess's cabin and closet with MSC's bathroom, that would be the perfect cruise ship bathroom. But MSC wins here, I mean, by a million, million miles. Their bathroom was so good. I wish every cruise ship had that style of bathroom. Okay, so what's my final verdict? So I'd say you can't go wrong with either one, but if I could magically take things from each one, I would take the MSC bathroom, as I mentioned, and combine it with everything else that Princess has, and I think that would be a perfect stateroom. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, and if you like content like this, make sure you subscribe. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. See you next video.